Hi guys, welcome to an episode of Before You Buy, where I give you a full rundown of soccer cleat releases brought to you by me, Kevin. Today we have the Adidas Copa Pure 0.1 to go over, so let's get right into it. Just like the Copa Pure Plus, these are also calfskin leather. These released early last month with a retail price of $250 and they come in this launch colorway as well as an all black and an all white release. I talked about the upper in my last video where I argued that the calf leather with the fusion skin is just as good as the kangaroo leather. I know a lot of purists will be upset at this move, but you really should try these out before writing them off as these still give you a great feel and are pretty thick. A little detail on the instep here is that there are grip elements called 3D haptic print to help you with grip on the ball. Moving on to the sole plate. It's going to be the same sole plate as on the Copa Pure Plus, which is the past Nemesis sole plate. It's a bit more aggressive than what you would imagine on a classic Copa and this gives them a great modern interpretation of a classic silo. In terms of fit, these are pretty snug and easier to put on than the laceless cleats. It may just be me, but the laceless shockingly felt pretty much the same once I laced these up. That's a great compliment to the Copa Pure Plus because the laceless versions usually are not nearly as tight. Judging by the initial fit and feel, I would say that these will probably take about a week or two to break in. If you're looking at trying out a pair for yourself, I would recommend going true to size on these. I normally wear a size 8 US and went with a size 8 US for a perfect fit. Now let's review the biggest win and loss of these cleats, which may sound familiar if you watched my video on the Copa Pure Plus. The win here is that this is the best modern interpretation of a classic Copa with the fit and feel plus the sole plate. I know it's not a new sole plate, but I don't care too much about that if it's the right call for the cleat. The biggest loss in my opinion is the grip texture you find in the instep like the one found in the Copa Pure Plus. There isn't enough texture in the right places, so I don't really think this does anything. That's the Adidas Copa Pure Point one for you. I'll leave a few links in the description in case you're interested in buying these. If you have any questions or opinions about these, leave them down below and I'll answer them as they come. Thank you so much for watching and if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed yourself, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more upcoming reviews. See you on the next one.